I got whispers that it was going to happen. And uh, yeah, we got straight to work. So everything is going to plan. So from your side, is Florin someone you've had your eye on uh, at any point? Is this a fight that you felt would happen or has it kind of come out of nowhere? No, um, I actually messaged Florin in 2021 uh, saying that we need to fight. So been looking for a fight like this for a while. And, you know, it just takes a while for opportunities like this to present themselves and get across the line. But it's finally done now and I'm looking forward to it. Florin, you get you get quite a lot of people kind of hit you up on social media because you're you know you're a ticket seller you you attract a lot of attention so you know people do want to fight you do you, you know what what can you tell us about the exchanges between the two of you um this fight was given to to dylan uh, about i think uh, two months ago i think around two months ago we had a conversation i tell to, i say to him that uh you wanted this fight, now you have it, let's fight. He said, no, I need some more time because I'm, I will not be ready for this fight. I say, this is your chance, or we fight now, or it, this chance doesn't come twice, you know. But uh, he was lucky, his chains came again, you know, they make him a again offer, you know. And now is the fight, now is his wishes became true. He wanted this fight to fight with me at the second, uh, at the, and we fight, 2nd of September. He's fighting with Florian. So what do you make of him? What do you think of him? Uh, he's not on my level. He he is good amateur style. Uh, I know what uh, he gonna do. He gonna try to run. He gonna die. He, go, he gonna try to hide from me. You know, but uh, inside there is different. The talking is okay because I heard he was talking about me and Florian uh, doesn't have experience. I'm gonna outbox him. Uh, but when we are in there, he gonna see what he can do. You know. Always, I find my way, doesn't matter, strong, weak, tall, short, I find my way to beat them, you know, and this is inside of me, and nobody can take that out of me. I want too much to win, and that's these guys can stop me with the help of God. So, Dylan, what do you make of that? What, what do you make of Florian's uh, assessment there, and what do you make of him? Yeah, you know, look, Florian has to believe in himself just like I do. I've come up a different road, you know. Where I come from, there's been no pro boxers before me, no footprints to follow, no promotional backing. You know, selling tickets, we all know the headache involved in that. Boxing wasn't in a good place back here in Ireland for a few years. Then COVID come along, but I've stuck through it. You know, winning on September 2nd means more to me than it does him, let me tell you that much. So I wouldn't be misled by any of that. You know, people will say, you've not fought anyone like Florian, and they're not wrong, but I've done what I've had to do. Like I said, Opportunities like this are few and far between, and I'm just glad that this one is here now. Barry, what do you make of this? Because when you have this situation, and he's, he's outlined it kind of perfectly there, just because somebody hasn't stepped up to a certain level uh, at a point before, it doesn't mean that they can't. And this is a massive opportunity, a massive opportunity. <clears throat> it, it is. Yeah, I had the sort of similar, I had sort of box at a decent level on my way up my apprenticeship, but I, my first sort of breakout on a sky on a sky bill. I went in as a challenger. I went and moved up in weight, and and the similar sort of thing. I was meant to get beat. I wasn't. A, I wasn't known as a strong guy, but I had like Dylan, good boxing brain, good ability, and also people think when you can't punch, you can't take a punch, and that's not always the case, of course. You no, know? so and so you can't. Everyone can punch. You know, if you've seen some, if you've watched some of his fights, he's got a lovely uppercut. He can hurt you, but the constant movement means you're not going to hold your feet enough to to get the real purchase to to be knocking people over. But I think he's he's a lovely boxer, and he will he will cause plenty of people problems. I I, th I do think ultimately, because this is a step up in levels for him, how he copes with Florian's pressure will be a thing that we won't know. But and if he can cope with it, it's going to be a difficult night for Florian. And if he can't, then it's going to be a difficult night for Dylan. I think that's how it'll play out. I think this clash of styles makes a really a really intriguing fight. Yeah, I, I, I tend to agree. I, I do feel like as well, we, we don't necessarily know what we'll get from him because I just remember his fight against Maxime Prodan at Spurs where we were kind of predicting an all-out war and that's definitely what Prodan wanted and that's not what you gave him. Mm -hmm. um, you boxed more that night. Dylan, do you feel like the fact that he's been out of the ring for such a long time <clears throat> could play in your favour because you boxed fairly recently and at Fighters, you all know much better than me how much of a thing ring rust is. Yeah, um, inactivity always play art, but I know Florian lives the life. Um, look, I've been a fan of the guys. He entertains, credit to him. I've watched all of his fights, um, but I also live the life. That's why I'm here today. Like I said, don't be misled by box strike. Don't be misled by anything. I'm here to fight September 2nd. You know, I haven't cut no corners, won't cut no corners. 
fully focused on Florian and Marco and fully confident that I can beat him. Are you going to bring a few over from Ireland, do you think? Yeah, there'll be a few coming with me. Um, well supported since day dot of turning over, you know, and we've been chasing these big nights for a long, long time and I'm just glad that they're here now. Okay, well, let's uh, let's get a fight. Let's get a prediction from 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 the pair of you, and don't don't just say a win because you know, it's like it would be the most unusual prediction in the world. <clears> if I asked <throat> both of you, what's going to happen, and you didn't say you were going to win. So, you first, Florian. How are you going to win? What's going to happen? Listen, when I see someone in front of me that I know he's trying to stop me from reaching my dreams, to provide for my family, you know, I had a really tough life. And now I am blessed to be in the position that I am. Maybe people think that uh, Dylan, uh, that is uh, his uh, chance. But for me, every day that I live and I train for me is a new thing. And uh, Dylan, when he will be in the ring with me, I don't think he's going to take more than uh, six, seven rounds. I'm going to stop him. And this is a statement. And you're going to remember when, when you see me in the fight with him. You're going to see a different Florian inside there. OK, so your turn, Dylan. What's going to happen? Yeah, you know, look, we all know what Florian is. I think Barry broke it down very well. It's boxer against puncher. I think I'm going to outbox him. You know, he's going to be looking for that big shot and I'm not going to be there. It's all about implementing each other's game plan and who can stick through to the 10 rounds. It's an interesting point. <clears throat> I believe it's going to deliver for the fans and I'm looking forward to it. I just just one final one for you, actually. It's it, it's going to be a big fight week. That it's it's a pay per view fight week. There'll be there'll be workouts early in the week. There'll be there'll be a lot going on that you probably haven't experienced before. Are you really looking forward to embracing that? The really just the whole feel of it, the whole vibe around it. Yeah, like I said, it's been a long time coming. People might say it'll get to me. I don't think so. I've been there that many times in my head that I'm going to be pretty comfortable when fight week comes around. Um, like I said, I'm. I'm really looking forward to going to enjoy the next few weeks training and just everybody. I'll be there fit and ready September 2nd. OK, good to hear. Well, we look forward to seeing you. We look forward to seeing you up in up in Manchester um, for, that, for that week. Good luck in the meantime. Prepare well. Lovely. Stay Got healthy. Hey, in the best of luck in camp and thanks for having me on, guys. No worries. Thank you. And I hope uh, you, you stay healthy and fit till 2nd of September. I'll be there. See you soon. That, that is what we want. Because we heard some rumors that you pulled out fights. And I wish and I hope that doesn't happen with me because I need to fight. Doesn't matter if I, you are or somebody else, but I need to fight the 2nd of September. Lying. Yeah, that's why. Be I'll ready be and be healthy. Don't, hey, don't, wor don't worry about it. I'll be okay, there. I'll okay. see you soon. Nice. I wish. Yes, perfect. Okay, great. Dylan, thanks. We'll see you soon. Guys, thank you very much. Sky Sports. Feel it all.